three incredible insights from Parshat Noach about our humanity. My great teacher and revered teacher of Aaron Lichtenstein of blessed memory, Rosh Yeshiva of Haritzion, shared the following insights over a number of talks that he gave in the Yeshiva. Number one, the first says about Noah, Ish Sadiq Hayab Adoratav, he was the righteous one in his generation. When, he com- when Noah compared himself to everybody else, he said, look what a tzaddik I am, look how great I am. He said, this is flaw number one. Be very careful in your, when you're serving God, in your own personal development, not to, uh, not to be uh, seduced by looking at those around you, those who are weaker than you, those who are doing less than you, and become complacent and say, look at me, look how great I am compared to everybody else. It doesn't work. It leads to stagnation instead of per, per continued professional development of character. Number two, when Noah comes out of the ark, the first thing he does is he plants a vineyard, he makes, he makes wine, he gets drunk. Now the psychologist will tell you that has to do with post-traumatic stress. But Lichtenstein wanted to read it slightly differently and says, this, you have a choice, you have to rebuild the world but you prefer to, uh, to, uh, to relax, have a vineyard, drink wine. That is the sin of laziness. And laziness will never help you achieve spiritual growth and development as a person. And, so, and lesson number three from the parsha: When Noah is lying drunk in his tent and his son Ham sees him and tells his brothers about what had happened, when, Ham, when, uh, when Noah comes to, he turns to, uh, to Ham and he curses him. He blames him. And this is the third character trait that we have to be aware of and aware of. Don't play the, the blame game. Be a, if you have done something wrong, take responsibility for your actions. Learn that important and difficult word, sorry. We already saw this in the first Torah parasha of the year, parasha Breshit, where, where, Adam, where Adam and Eve try to blame the other for the sin of eating from the tree of knowledge. Where Cain that is not willing to take responsibility for killing Abel. This is a critical sin. Not being able to take responsibility, passing the buck to others. These three critical lessons are where we learn from Pashat Noach. And indeed, if we absorb them and apply them to our lives, this will help us to become greater people. Shabbat Shalom.